I am so excited to do this concert. The Path of Miracles is a truly groundbreaking choral work. It's also a very spiritual piece. The Path of Miracles refers to a walk that a lot of pilgrims have taken over the centuries. This piece is, is designed in four movements, and each one is one of the four major cities along the pilgrimage route. It gives you a sense of, of being on a long journey. And the longest pilgrimage you could take would actually be starting in Jerusalem and walking all the way to the end of the path, uh, which is in Spain, in Santiago. And Santiago is actually shorthand for St. James. If you believe all the Bible stories, St. James was one of Jesus' apostles who actually made his way all the way to Spain, trying to convert people and let them know that, that Jesus was here and the Messiah had come. After he died, his body was put into a stone coffin or maybe on a stone slab in the water, and that stone slab floated its way all the way over to Spain. Uh, to Finastere on the very western tip of Spain on the Atlantic Ocean, where it laid concealed for centuries until it was discovered under the stars uh, in the Middle Ages by a shepherd who then took the body to this church where his remains sort of uh, still are. Some of them are, but during the Middle Ages, a lot of people stole bones from that body and carried them all over because they thought the bones could perform miracles. This all gets referred to in the piece that St. James is able to work all these miracles on people on the path and throughout the world because his bones are, are scattered uh, all over. People now walk this path to churches that have been built along the path. Joby Talbot isn't real, really a choral composer. He's, he's a film and television composer. He's written a lot of ballets. So he doesn't see the choir the way other composers do, a straight up, up, down, sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses. He, he actually wrote this piece for 17 individual voices, five sopranos, four altos, four tenors, four basses, all professional singers. Most groups that do it do it with one singer or two singers on a part, and we have about five to eight singers on a part, and it's gonna create a very different sound. I think there's relatively few choirs of our size that can actually tackle and learn this piece because it's so complex. I think that's what he had in mind. He doesn't say for 17 soloists. He says for 17 part Divisi choir that we may be the first people to really bring this to life the way he had intended with this full rich sound that it creates choral textures like I've never heard before. And I've been doing this a long time. It's, it's a really groundbreaking piece in terms of choral sound. For those of you that want to be on the, the cutting edge of what a choir can do, this is the place. The music in this piece is such an interesting mix of, of medieval and modern. Joby Talbot uses this uh, medieval pilgrim's tune that people sang while walking uh, this Camino that in the Middle Ages would have gone one, two, three, 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 all very regular and, and marchy and sort of rollicking. Uh, but in his version, he adds a big hiccup. It goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, and one, two, three. And it adds sort of a stumble step or, or maybe something that makes it irregular that the, the pilgrims are maybe having a harder time. And then the cool part is as he asks us to sing this in canon one after another, that the stumble steps start happening in different places and something that should be regular and fit together becomes this large mathematical puzzle. And when you try to comprehend it, 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 it sends you into this almost like trance-like state of really trying to push your listening skills beyond uh, normal human perception. I, I think that's some of how he's trying to get at the idea of pilgrimage and self-growth. There's so many choral textures in this piece that just haven't been heard before because uh, nobody else has conceived of a choir with 17 different parts all the time. Having a choir divided into this many parts, like five soprano parts, four tenor parts, four basses, um, I mean, hearing our bass section just sing in four-part harmony, when do you get to hear that?
or hearing these alto and soprano parts cascade over each other, uh, almost like angelic voices, while the tenors and basses sing this unison melody uh, below. It's, it's much more like an orchestra with like a cello solo and all the woodwinds shimmering. And then I think for Joby Talbot, he finds a lot of God or, or mysticism in math, or maybe the thought that the pilgrims aren't all walking at the same speed, but so much rhythmic complexity in this piece. There's one moment at the end of the piece where some of the choir is singing in 5-4, some of them are in 6-4, some of them are in 9-8, and as they all try to line up with each other, it's almost like the walls of reality start to bend. You can't even hang on to like where the beat is or where reality is anymore. Maybe that would be like if you had been walking on this Camino for, for 30 days, uh, trying to get from town to town. Then when you actually make it, the, the, the sounds when the journey ends here are some of the most glorious and rewarding sounds because he's made you really work to get to them. I often think just a choir singing a major chord is one of the most beautiful human expressions of, of unity that exists. But when you put them at the end of this long journey, they're, they're even more exquisite. spending more time rehearsing this piece than people often spend on that, that Camino. We're spending two months of our lives like really devoted to this. Coming out of COVID, it actually feels very healing and, and very empowering. And we can't wait to share it with all of you. So those of you that might be interested in, in a journey of, of spiritual self-actualization, you could walk on that Camino for 30 days or you could come to our concert for one hour. This is the Portland premiere of The Path of Miracles, and I don't know how often any of us are gonna to get to hear this piece live. So get your tickets now at theresear, T-H-E-R-E-S-E-R dot org. Uh, Saturday night, October 22nd at 7.30, or Sunday afternoon, October 23rd at 4 p.m. You've never heard anything like it.